Thank you. I obviously I'm no longer in government service like others here, so I can't speak with any authority about um, what the British government might um, be prepared to do. But it is my impression um, from talking to former colleagues that there is not a problem of goodwill or political enthusiasm for this type of project. It is indeed widely accepted that the encouragement of development in the tribal areas and support for what the Pakistan government is trying to do there is a major sec British security interest, indeed I would say a, a wider European security interest. Um, the problem that I think uh, outsiders perceive when they ask themselves the question, how could we help, is the problem of delivery mechanisms, to use the jargon. In other words, um, precisely because the tribal areas have for some time been lightly administered, <clears throat> there isn't an obvious infrastructure that already exists into which resources could be put. Now, the idea of trying to create delivery mechanisms from outside and, as it were, artificially imposing them on the region is clearly absurd. It's not going to happen. Whatever is done has to be done in a way that goes with the grain of what the Pakistan government and the local Pakistan authorities are already trying to do. But my sense is that what is missing is some body which has the ability to turn resources into things happening on the ground. And that, I think, is the area where we need some creative thinking. As I said, I have no authority for saying this, but I don't believe that there is a problem of willingness to spend money in this part of the world. It is a big priority for us. The problem is the sheer difficulty of generating practical projects, the fear that derives from experience in Afghanistan that UN agencies, NGOs, frankly, though they are full of goodwill and they are full of well-meaning people, they end up spending money sustaining themselves. It costs them so much simply to exist, survive, operate in these areas that they almost have nothing left by way of money or energy for doing the things that they originally set out to do. So they become a kind of self-sustaining entity driving around in their air-conditioned 4 by 4s we all know the story, and they may generate a few local jobs, but they're not really doing the things that they were set up to do. So I don't... I, I, I don't one has to be cautious of trying to offer something new from outside. But if there were some way in which local um, bodies, local infrastructure known to welcomed by the Pakistan authorities um, could be given encouragement, I think that would be an attractive option. 